Kunai. Hi, Patty. Sorry, sorry, but there was there was a lot of noise here. <laughs> Good night. Hi, how are you? Fine. Yeah, you? I, in, uh, I have a little I have a little problem with my with my ear. Oh. I I have been very very bad all the afternoon. But right now what? I I have I think I have I don't know but an infection maybe ear on this ear mm -hmm. pain yeah i have i have uh, pain mm -hmm. eso sí que molesta <laughs> mm -hmm. eso molesta un yeah a lot el dolor, el dolor de oído es como un dolor de muela yo los comparo casi parecidos desesperantes mm -hmm. desesperan yeah Le cuento, fíjese que hablé con la licenciada Ajá. Elena y entonces pues ella lo que me decía era de que si yo consideraba que no podía por, por lo que me decían ahí en el trabajo, de que asistiera a la clase de ahora para terminar de subir lo de la asistencia. Uh -huh. Y entonces dejar abierta la oportunidad con Isafor de, de poder retomar después el, el Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, pero yo le decía también a ella, porque ella me daba la opción de tomarlo como antes, va una hora. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero yo le digo, no, Leo, porque realmente siento que sí, como que he aprendido más, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. mi se pone, mi anita se pone las pilas. <risa> y entonces, yo le dije a ella que sí me gustaba la modalidad de dos horas, uh -huh. pero yo no quería era quedar mal de una mala asistencia o, o fallar entonces pero realmente quizás me voy a arriesgar a tomarlo y yo voy a llorar y a brincar y a patalear <ríe> sí That's quizás me voy a very happy for that. porque fíjense que eh, no sé cómo es el apellido del muchacho Luis se llama de allí de inglés corporativo me llamó ah, este no hay que ser Y entonces yo más o menos le expliqué a él y me dijo, ah, pues no, no lo reciba. Me dijo, sí, algo así, indiferente. Entonces, no, dije, mejor le voy a hablar a la licenciada. Entonces ella me dijo, de que me daba la opción de aprender en, en una hora, de recibir clase de una hora y que así sí fallaba, no había problema. Pero yo dije, es que realmente una hora no es lo mismo como ahora. Este curso es, sí, no. De, ah, rápido, pero sí uno, no hablamos bien a... A mil va, porque si nos cuesta a todos, creo yo. Pero yo en lo personal sí puedo darle un mil, porque la niñanita sí se pone la ah, Thank you very much. Y, y, sí, y yo en lo personal, no sé los compañeros, va, pero yo en lo personal sí siento que quizás como también la facilidad de tener el manual y uno lee, ¿vale? Entonces siento yo de que sí he aprendido más. No digo que no aprendí con los otros maestros, va, como no. Pero sí, sí siento que bastante avanzado yo. Ya, de, digo yo, pues que es que, que bueno continuar así, ¿ve? porque también que me voy a trazar en lo otro, pues, que me voy a trazar si, si me salgo, me voy a trazar, digo yo, no sé. Entonces, mañana le voy a escribir a la licenciada para que mande mi papelería de regreso ahí. Y me voy a ah, that's okay. I'm very, I'm very happy to to listen to that. I'm very, very, very happy to listen. <laughs> gracias. Remember, gracias. remember that that we need to we need to make like a little sacrifice, right? And if you have learned, I'm very happy for that. 
I'm very okay. happy for that. Monday, okay. class from Monday is going to be very nice because we're going to have practice, practice, and practice from all, almost all the topics that we have studied. Pero verdad que la hora que vamos a recibir el lunes cuenta en el tiempo, verdad? Uh -huh. que yes. Ajá, es que, ajá, es que ahí la licenciada me decía, si usted recibe solo la clase de ahora, ya le aumenta. Y la clase del lunes, dije yo, quizás esa no va a contar, dije, pero como yeah, yeah. no. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, sí. we're gonna have the y class yo, on Monday. Ya terminé todo, pero ah. en la, en la pregunta de la primera parte, de la, donde dice quién, no sé qué, que hay que, que, que están, que hay que poner ah. has. Mm -hmm. Yo no sé por qué no me la agarra buena. Ah, okay, but we can, we can discuss about that uh, later, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, Excellent. yeah, no problem. Okay. <laughs> I only have four students. Erika, Linda, Edgar, and Patricia. Okay, so good night, everybody. <laughs> good night, everybody. Well, today is our, uh, well, one class before the last, all right? Yes, <laughs> class before the last one. Monday we're gonna finish on, you know, for for the problem, but that is good because you will have more practice. <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna begin today. I'm gonna begin uh, sharing the presentation that I have for you today, and this is the presentation. So today is class number twenty. Okay, and in class number twenty. We're gonna finish to use the manual, okay? To, to, uh, today we finish using the manual. Monday we're gonna have other things to do. Now, the objective for today, all right? The objective for today is we will have a vocabulary practice about the topics studied previously in the unit. So we're gonna we're gonna practice uh, a little bit with the topics that we have um, studied. All right, very good. The topics that we have studied. Now, um, here we have um, the first activity that we're gonna that we're gonna have. It is a very nice activity, and the name of the activity is coffee pot. Coffee pot in Spanish is like cafetera, all right? So coffee pot, but that's the name of the activity. So what we're gonna do is with this activity you will read some sentences where the verb has been substituted for the word coffee pot. For example, here I have a sentence. Coffee pot, I, I, I selected coffee pot, but the word can be mango, the word can be um, table, whatever, whatever, all right? But I chose coffee pot. Now, I have a sentence here. And it says, I coffee pot pupusas every weekend. Now, coffee pot, coffee pot is not a verb. I substituted the verb for that word. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to guess which verb has been removed. It. Sorry? It. Yes, very good. So the verb that has been removed is it. Okay, very good. Nice. So the activity is like that. In the next slide, in the next slide, okay, I have 10 sentences. Okay, and in the 10 sentences, I substituted, I substituted the verb. I substituted the verb for the word coffee pot, you see? So what you have to do is you have to guess, you have to guess which verb I substituted. Is it clear? Yes. Yes? If it says yes, what about the others? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, very good. So I have Francisco now, Herman, Abel, and Nilsson. All right, very good. So, um. That's what we're gonna do. So we have the verbs and we have substituted the verbs for the word coffee pot, all right? That the name of the activity is like that, coffee pot. Okay, so let me see. 
Okay. Now, I'm gonna go to the next slide. And I want you to take a picture from the sentences, okay? Take a picture from the sentences. Okay, give me give me a second. Give me a second, everybody. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna underline the word coffee pot because here is where you have to um, um, think about the verb that I substituted. I substituted a verb. Of course, the word coffee pot is not a verb. Coffee pot is a is a word. All right. Mm -hmm. So let me see. But in, in this case, you have to think. Of, pay attention, pay attention. Oh, sorry. Pay attention if the, if the word coffee pot is with an S. Because if the word coffee pot, if the word coffee pot is with an S, that means that the verb that is here it has to be with S. For example, imagine if, she, if it says, she coffee pots pizza. Ah, she eats pizza. Yes. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so remember, pay attention. If the word, I will repeat the, the instruction. If the word coffee pot has an S, that means that the verb that, is, that has been substituted has an S too. Okay, now uh, take the picture with the with the with the with the word coffee pot underlined. Okay. You got it? Yes. You have it? Yes, okay, very good, excellent. So I'm gonna stop the share and Oh, I have Grecia and Reina eh, in the house. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make the groups. Let me see. Yeah, we have uh, couples. We're gonna work in, let me see, Herman and Ruth, Francisco and Ibit, Erika and Reina, Abele and Nilsson and Linda Somara, and Edgar, Manuel and Grecia Ivo. All right, very good. Eh, Grecia, is the activity clear? No, no, no. Entre cuando solo dijo al final. Sorry. <coughs> Entre cuando estaba terminando de explicar, teacher. Ah, okay. Give me a second. I'm gonna move you. Let me see. I'm gonna move you here. Okay. So Francisco Edgardo will work with you, and he will explain to you what we are gonna do. All right. Very good. Okay. okay so. We're gonna work, I'm gonna give you some time so you can do this and bye-bye everybody. This is our first practice from, from the class. trabajo. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y Number go. Two. Ok. Number two. In English. The practice in English. Number, number two. Um, my father coffee pot the newspaper all night and substitute as I read yeah, very good. That's that's the that's the answer, Patty. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 
My father read. But read. remember that it has an S. Read. Uh huh. My read. father reads. Read. Yes, my father okay. reads. I'm yes. going to include. Um, I'm gonna include Abby in in your group. Okay. 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 Oh, she's okay. there. All right. Okay. okay. I will go to okay. another room. Okay. Okay. Number. Una a la otra. Ah, el uno al otro. El uno al otro, vea. María, San Pedro. Pedro. María y Pedro, ajá. Each other a lot. Fight each other a lot. Eat each other a lot. <laughs> kiss each other a lot. Ah, uh, kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh, that can be one option. That can be one option. But, yes. it's, but it's not the answer. But that can be one option, Evit. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Is the activity clear? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Maria y Pedro. Maria and Pedro, coffee pot, each other, a lot. Each other, a lot. Each other, uh -huh, each other. Maria to Pedro and Pedro to Maria. What What do you think they they do each other a lot? It's a, 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 se ayudan entre ellos mismos. Sorry? Help. Se ay help, uh -huh. uh, help. That can be, okay, that can be one option. It's not the answer, but that can be one option. Uh, but it's not the answer. <laughs> it's something. It's something more. How can I tell you? It is something more. I don't know. It's like more than help. More than help. Mm -hmm. It is. It is more. More. More than help. Teacher. Yes. Uh, explain what do what we do okay what you have to do is here you have 10 sentences okay ah, Francisco is, is sharing okay we have 10 sentences so what you have to do is you have to uh, you have to guess the verb that has been substituted for the word coffee pot for example number two is very easy my father coffee pots the newspaper all night. Coffee pot doesn't exist, but I substituted the verb. So which verb do you think I substituted? Tyler. Sorry? Hey, my father. I don't remember. How do you say Lair? Francisco? Maybe. Uh, maybe uh, this verb podría uh, ser como alguna actividad normal, ¿verdad? Yeah, but 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 Grecia has the answer. Grecia said uh, leer. And how do you say leer in English? Read. Exactly. So I substituted the verb read, and it says my father reads the newspaper all night. That is the correct answer. But I substituted the verb so you can think about the, the verb that I that I changed. Is it clear? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Yo los yo los sustituí por esa palabra para que piensen okay. ustedes qué verbo es. Okay? Okay. Yeah. I substituted the verb so you can think about which verb it is. Okay? Okay. Yes. Okay, continue because uh we, we still have time. All right, go ahead. Teacher. Yes, Linda. The number three, I don't understand. We don't understand. Okay, number three. Number three is Maria and Pedro coffee pot each other. Each other. Okay, uh, imagine, okay, look at me. Imagine this is Pedro and this is Maria. So each other. For example, you can say, this is not the answer. It's not the answer, but Maria and Pedro help each other a lot. 
Pedro helps and Maria helps Pedro. Is clear? But in this case, it's not help. It's another verb. It's another action. Uy, sorry. So which which verb do you think it is? In number two, what is the what is the verb? Reads. Yes, excellent. So in number three, I'm gonna give you one clue. Look at me. I'm look at me. Loves. Yes, very good. That is the verb. And the number six. Number six. Oh, Luis coffee pots the class very well because he pays attention. What happens, Linda, if you don't pay attention in the class? You don't? Yes. Uh, what what happens if you don't know, if you I sorry I was gonna ya le iba a dar la respuesta I was gonna give you the answer but <gasps> what happens if you don't pay attention in the class teacher don't understand exactly so that is the verb Luis understand the class very well. Excellent, very good. But remember, Linda, that it is Luis. And Luis is a third person singular. That's why it has the S. So what is Other the verb? Understands. Aha, uh -huh. very good, nice. Four, uh, sería teaches. Sorry? And number four, teaches. Number Enseña. four. Enseña, teaches. Third, coffee pots, English. That can be one option. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Abel. The teacher, teacher, teaches the. Uh, that can maybe uh, speak. If it is, if it is me, thank you very much. <laughs> but uh, we can have another option. We speak. can have another. Sorry. Uh, speaks. Yes. And what is the third person singular? Uh, speak. Speaks, very good, speaks, all right, okay. very good, speaks. Excellent, very good. This activity is very nice because you can think about different options of verbs. Mm, two options the verb. Oh my God, time is over. You finished, Linda and Abel, no. No. No, but I'm gonna give you more time, don't worry. I'm sorry, everybody. I lost. I lost the 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 window. Okay, I'm gonna give you more time. You didn't finish, right? Okay, I'm finish. gonna give you more time. No. This activity is okay. very interesting because you can have or you are thinking about different options for the same for the same sentence, and we can have a lot of options, and that is very good because you can think about verbs. All right. So let's see. We're gonna we're gonna go again. It's recording, right? Erika, <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. I only read your lips. Okay, so I'm gonna give you more time and bye-bye. Again, one more time. Some groups are in groups, you are in groups of, of three, all right? Go ahead. This one is better, watch me cry. I don't know if the kisses. Yes. 
I kisses my son on his cheeks as a show of love. Okay. Uh, when it says I, if you pay if you pay attention, coffee pot doesn't have an S. I kiss. Perfect. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Number. Sorry, I don't know listening for my internet. Sorry? I don't know listening for internet. Ah, for the internet? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Number seven is kiss, no kisses. Ah, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Yes, number seven is kiss. Mm -hmm. Continue. Um, Number eight, what do you sing, Abel? Number eight. Elisa driver a car very good. Drives. 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 Excellent, very good, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number nine. Lisi. Ah, pues sí. Love. Love. Uh -huh. Love. Love. Yes. Which one, Patty? Yes. Which number? Three. Oh, it's a, three. three. Number three. Yes. Number three. Yay! That's the answer. That's the answer. Uh, you can oh. have different options. For example, Mario and Pedro kiss each other a lot. Maria and P Mario. So you finished okay. all the verbs? Yes. yes. And yes. Very good. So let me see. What do you have for what do you have for number? What? Sorry, I'm I'm just give me a second. Is it me? Is it me or the counter says 12 minutes? No, uh, ah, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, my God. All right, but don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can close the rooms when I want. But, mm -hmm. okay. So, what do you have for number? Oh, my God. It was only six minutes, and I don't know why it says 12, but, okay. What number <laughs> do you have for number six? <laughs> What what do you have for number six? Learn. Please, uh -huh. to Please learn. Please learn. The class, class very learn. well. Yes. Um, are you sure? What happens? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you this. Hi. What happens if you don't pay attention? You don't? Oh yes. Yep. 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 What yes. happens? Teacher, I have a question because I don't pay attention. No. I don't remember. I oh no. I don't understand. <laughs> yes, very good. So Luis. <laughs> Luis, don't. No, 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 because it's not negative, it's oh. affirmative. Ah, okay, okay. Luis understand the class very well because oh. he pay attention. Okay, now, if you pay attention, coffee pot has an S. So how is the verb understand? Uh -huh. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Se me olvidó decirlo. <laughs> Excellent. So you say, Luis understands, okay? Understands. Exactly. Oh, so that, that's same. the same. It is similar to number one, for number two, for number four, for number five, for number eight, for number ten. The verb that you substituted needs the S. Yes. Okay. okay? Reads, okay. goes, plays, has, stands. Uh -huh. So all the verbs need the, ver the letter S. Is clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what do you have for number ten? 
Herman, what do you have for number 10? Number 10, drinks. Excellent, very good. Drinks, okay, perfect, okay. So I'm gonna close the rooms because okay. 12 minutes is a okay. lot, okay? So <laughs> okay. I'm gonna close the rooms right now. I didn't pay attention. Okay, let's go back to the to the to the main room. Okay, everybody. Now we're gonna check. We're gonna check the verbs that you substituted. So, what do you have for number one? Sh uh, a volunteer? Let me see. Francisco, what do you have for number one? Maybe travel. Uh, okay. Uh, very good. Now, here, the word coffee pot has an S. That means the verb that you told me is with S. Repeat, please. Travels. Perfect. Travels. Okay. So, this is the answer. She travels to the job every day by car. That is the answer. Travels. Or do you have another option? She Maybe goes. Comes. goes. She goes. Okay. Comes. She goes. She goes. Comes. All right. We can have different options. Okay. But my, my answer or the answer I, I, I thought was travels. But the other options are correct too. They are correct. Okay, number two, a volunteer for number two. Reads. Reads. Yes. Reads. 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 Very good. Reads. Reads. Can we have another option? No? We can say, my father reads the newspaper all night. My father dobla, folds the newspaper all night. My father, Tira, Lanza, throws the newspaper all night. Mm -hmm. All right, you can have different options, okay? Number three, Maria and Pedro. Helps. Loves. 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 Okay, okay. Love or loves? Love. Loves. Oh. Love. Love. Yes. No, we don't need S because if you pay attention here, coffee pot doesn't have an S. Oh, love. Because Maria and Pedro is plural. They. Mm -hmm. So it is love. Can you give me other options? <laughs> Kiss. Kiss. Another option? Very good. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about number four? The teacher... Coffee pots English very well. What can be different options? Teachers. 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 Okay, that's Speaks. one option. Another option? Speaks. Speaks. Very good. That, that is the answer. But the other options are correct also. The teacher teaches English very well. The teacher speaks English very well. The teacher chews, mastica English very well. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Okay. Number five. Marcelo coffee pots soccer on the streets with his friends. Place. 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 And with letter S. Place. Okay. Place. Very good. Okay, what about number six? What about number six? Louis, coffee pot the class very well because he pays attention. Louis understands the class. Study. Because yes. he pays attention. Okay, the option is understands. Yeah, so Luis understands the class very well because he pays attention. What about number seven? I coffee put my son on his cheeks as a show of love. I kiss. Kiss, I kiss. very good. Kiss. No kisses because it is I. Kiss. I, I kiss. kiss. 
All right, I kiss. Yes. What about number eight? Elisa coffee pots a car very well. Elisa drives. 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 Excellent. The third person singular drives. Number nine, they coffee pot at the university. They finish. finish. Study. Go. Study. Okay. Study. Some people say go, other people say study, and other people say um, finish. finish. Well, the answer is study. Okay? Yeah, they study at the university. I didn't give you more, more information, but yeah. But it is a study, all right? Very good. Okay, what about number 10? Jorge or George, coffee drink beer with his friends. Ay, this is very difficult. <laughs> Jorge drink. drinks beer. Drinks, <laughs> very good, drinks, okay. Excellent, everybody, excellent. Okay, you, you were thinking uh, um, a lot, okay. Now, we're going to move to the next activity, okay? What are the rules? Rules, no. You pronounce it rules. <laughs> and ruler, no, all right? <laughs> okay, it's what are the rules in your office? In your your you don't say your, your no your io io your so what are the rules in your office 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 no office so here i included two rules don't make noise clean your desk okay i want you to invent okay if you don't have rules in your office invent and what we're going to do is we're going to use imperatives, okay? We can have affirmative imperatives or negative imperatives, okay? That's what you're going to do. You will invent for me, let me see. You will invent uh, six rules, okay? Six rules from your office. For example, no más que chicle, don't chew. Um, mastique, right? Okay, don't chew uh, gum in the office. No lo pegue abajo del escritorio. Don't stick the, the chewing gum under the desk. Don't sleep on the, on the desk. Whatever, okay? I want you to write six rules in your office. If you don't have rules, you can invent, okay? Uh, is it clear? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Very good. All right. So we're going to go. Sandy, I have Sandy, I have Jose Nelson Gustavo, good night, all right. So we're gonna go and we're gonna practice. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you... Time. And I'm gonna recreate the rooms, let me see. Okay. Saida is getting online. All right. Okay. So I'm going to have a group of three and bye bye, everybody. Let's go to the sec second practice. Let's go to the Eh, Patricia, Linda, 
Linda asked me for permission because she had something to do. And Abel, I don't know, maybe he's having problems with the internet. Okay. So if I you write, want to write your I, I write in my book. Yeah, so I will go and, and, and check what happened, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> go and check, let me see. The Francisco Edgar Manuel. Okay, here. I Mm -hmm. Minus? Minus before checking time. Accepting. Checking. Check. Check. Checking. Checking time. Checking time. Yes. Via. Via. Tender to the customer. Uh huh. Uh, mm, Victor in your group, okay? Sorry? I, I, I will include Victor in your group. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, yeah. Julian, are you there? Oh, so Ivit, you are alone. Yes. Oh, and Juliana, what happened? Maybe she's having a, a problem. A... Okay, give me a second, Ivit. Juliana, are you there? Working in your full schedule, maybe? Uh Okay, finish. Uh -huh. Oh, you can, okay, think think about more. <laughs> we still have time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, think about others, don't worry. Um, you have more negatives than affirmatives or affirmatives than negatives? Three negatives and three affirmatives. Ah, all right, okay, very good, nice. Let me see. Another. So, so uh, no, should should gritar. Uh, no, shoot shout. in the office. Mm -hmm. Shout, shout, shout. 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 shout in the office. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh -huh. Hi, Taika and Edgar. Do you have a, a question? No. Um, solo era de hacer oraciones. Only rules. Rules for the office. Yeah. No okay. question. No. Um, sí, podrían ser. Sorry, Saida. Podrían ser afirmativas y negativas. Yes, they can be affirmative or negative. No problem. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Sure. Okay. Let's... Thank you. All right. You're welcome. No saying bad words. No saying bad words. Ah. You are good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't say. Don't. Don't say. Don't. Yeah. That's okay. 
The yeah, no problem, teacher. no problem. You can, you can use, you can use ideas. <laughs> problem. Use yes. ideas. Perfect. Repeat, uh, Reina. Don't say. Say. Ah, porque siguen diciendo. Exactly. Excellent. Uh, Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Eh, oro. Eh, to be honest. Mm -hmm. eh, don't eat at the desk. Yeah, but it's oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah. For example, if to hello boys. Hello. You finished? Yes. No. Ah, okay. Yes, sure. In six okay. seconds, we go back. Three, okay. two, one. Okay, very good. Now, um, I would like to listen to your ideas. Okay, no, it's not this one. No, no. Okay, so what are the rules in your offices? I will need one example from everybody. So I will begin with Saida Janet. All right, can you give me one example, please? And don't... A smoke inside in the office. Excellent. Very good, Saida. Okay. Grecia, can you give me one example, please? Yes. Don't be late. Excellent. Don't be late. Okay. Jose Nelson Gustavo, give me one example, please. Okay. Uh, don't uh, sleep in the office. Don't sleep in the office. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Sherman, one example, okay. please. Thank you. Arrive 15 minutes before checking time. Arrive 15. Yes, 15 minutes uh, before checking time. Excellent. Very good. Arrive 15 minutes because before checking time. Reina? Uh, wear the uniform. Okay, very good. Wear the uniform. Francisco? Uh, don't eat bubblegum in your office. Okay, don't eat bubblegum in your office. All right, very good. Let me see. Um, Abel? Abel? Okay. Erika? Don't see the cell phone in the office. Okay, very good. Thank you, Erika. Abel, now you are back. Okay. okay. Turn off air conditioner. Okay, turn off the air conditioner. Very good. Okay, Victor? Uh, for example, is uh, the call is no more. Uh, more than 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Calls uh, no more than 15 minutes. Okay. Yes. Edgar? Uh, don't know. Show bubblegum. Oh, don't chew bubblegum. Chew. So, yes, okay. Yes. Okay. Patricia? Clean your place. Clean your place, okay. Abby? Don't see the cell phone. Oh, that is a very, very, very difficult rule because you yes. have to see the messages from your boyfriends. <laughs> or your husbands or your friends or your wives or your girlfriends, etc. Okay, um, Ibit. Don't leave the computer sessions on. 
Oh, that is very important. Yeah, because if you leave your computer session on, ay, oh my God, someone can go and steal your information or yes. I, I don't know. That, that, that can be a lot of things. All right, very good. Okay. Thank you. Very, uy. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to stop the, the share. Okay, and we're gonna do another activity that is, uh, do you remember that I sent to the group? Um, I sent to the group, um, sorry, I was listening to this song before. <laughs> All right, very good. So do you remember I, I sent to the group a reading? I sent this reading to the group. I sent the picture. Yes. Okay. And I told you, okay, if you want, and if it is possible for you, read the article before so you can investigate about the words that are maybe not familiar for you. If you did it, that's okay. If you didn't do it, we're going to do it right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, le voy a sacar más provecho a esta lectura, como es la última, because we are not going to have more readings anymore. Le vamos a sacar provecho. We're going to take advantage of this. Así que me va a hacer three activities with this. Three. Number one, you will read, okay, the article with another person. One person can read what is a policy. No es policía, ¿ok? <laughs> it is una política, all right? And what is a procedure? So you will read or you will learn the difference between what is a policy and what is a procedure, all right? That is activity number one. Activity number two. Give me a second. Activity number two. Well, activity number two is you will you will with these five sentences you will choose if the sentence is a policy or if the sentence is a procedure. Okay, so here here in the blank space you will write Policy or procedure. That is the second activity. And I don't. Le van a tomar picture. I'm gonna. Voy a poner acá. Okay. Ahí está la foto en in the group. All right. I sent the 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 picture because I wanted you to work with this before the class. But okay. So here you can take a picture. Okay. And you can take a picture from this. All right. Do you have the pictures? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. And activity number three, activity number three is, I want you to, on an extra piece of paper, or, or if you have a computer, or if you have a, a notebook and a pencil, I want you to write all the words that you don't know. And I want you to investigate the meaning. I'm going to give you time for doing this activity. Okay? So, for example, you begin reading. A policy is a predetermined course of action which is, is established. Oh, I don't understand this one. So, you write it. Established equals establecido. Okay. Which is established to provide a guide toward, oh, toward, toward, equals a través de o hacia, okay? So I want you to do that. I want you to investigate the vocabulary. Así se le saca pecho a una lectura, okay? Number one, you read a entender lo más que pueda. Number two, you investigate the vocabulary you don't know. Así es como uno aumenta su vocabulario con las lecturas, with the readings. Para esto usted necesita, you need a dictionary and you need time, okay? So I'm going to give you time for doing this. All right, I'm going to give you time for, for doing this. Um, at nine at nine o'clock, los voy a sacar a todos a las nueve, all right, at nine o'clock for a moment because I need to check the, the attendance, okay? 
I need to check the attendance and after that you're gonna come back. So, uh, so I'm gonna, let me see, I'm gonna stop the share and I'm gonna send you to the groups. All right, let me see. Um, okay, I'm gonna have a group of three and the group of three is gonna be Ruth, Patricia, Juliana, and Saida. Ivit and Jose Nelson together, Grecia and Reina, Claudia and Edgar, Francisco, Edgardo, and Herman, and the others too. Raquel, okay, very good. So I'm gonna give you some minutes for doing this. Okay, bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. What is the procedure? Okay. Okay. What is what is a police? A police is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide a give to where accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a, a directive a direct link between an organization, vision, and their, and their day to day operations. Police in, identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues, issues as they arise. This is, a com this is accomplished by providing the reader with limits, with limits and choose of alternatives that can be used to guide their, decis their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of police as a law where national boundaries, oceans, mountain rangers are used as they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reads, reader with limits. You will also help eliminate common misunderstanding by identifying job responsibility and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Okay. Okay, uh, identify the, the, the word as you don't know. For example, in, in the first uh, paragraph, uh, for example, that the, the, the word is a... No, pensé que íbamos a contestar ahorita lo... Ah, lo contestamos de un solo, o, o identificamos las palabras. O sea, ¿cómo gusta usted? Primero identificamos las palabras y después contestamos si queda. Okay. Por ejemplo, esa... Uy. Uh, a produce as a web map where the tweet detail. Uh, I don't know. and no sé, lo voy a notar. Uh, 
Okay. In order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering, of a acceptable uh, fact identified uh, by the company Magnament Team. Okay. Anotó ahí la palabra. Solo tengo la 1 y la 2 porque es ese pedacito de, después que estaba. It's a connection between a company vision, eh, sería uh, a policy. policy. It's a po company's man, man, manage, management. Oh, you say management. Management. Yes, management. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. I like, I like it. Okay. Management. Management. Ay, Dios mío. Me arranco la pedazo de lengua para poderme lo aprender. <risa> management. Ay, señor, no me sale más noche. No, no me sale. Ya casi nos va a sacar. Ya está. No, sí, no, 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 no. Ah, pero ¿por qué va a pasar lista? Ajá, y sí, va sí. Va a regresar. Ajá. Va a sí. pasar lista. Y después va a regresar, dijo. Hay que ver los significados de las Ajá, de las palabras. De las palabras y las oraciones que hay que complementar, ir poniendo. Ajá. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you uh, a minute, ladies. Okay, everybody, I'm going to go the attendance, all right? Let me see. Uh, remember, I, I need to, to, to see you. Okay. Ruth Patricia Zuniga Albarenga? Present. Okay. Lede Nilsson Salazar Melara? Present. Okay. Saida Yanet Rodriguez? Present. Okay. Ivita Alexandra Rivera Rodriguez? Present. Palacios Reyes. Present. Ernesto Bell. Present. Ok. Grecia Ivonne Mejía Ayala. Present. Present. Sandy Stephanie Pais Orellana. I was looking for you. Present. Germán Agustín Ramos Villeda. Present. Giva Ramírez. Never been present. Juliana Araceli Ramos. Present. Thank you. Credo Norberto Cerón. Not here today. Not yet. Edgar Manuel Bonilla Franco. Present. Present. José Nelson Gustavo Pineda. Present. Raquel Abigail Cigarán Mons. Present. Okay, Carmen Irene Navidad Campos, she is not present. Linda Elizabeth, no sorry, <laughs> Linda Sumara, Saura Portillo. <laughs> Me cambió el nombre, teacher present. <laughs> sorry. Okay, Erika Elizabeth, I confused your name with Erika's name. Erika Elizabeth Salmerón de Humansor. Present. Reina de la Papi Toro de Álvarez. Present. Last but not least. Francisco Edgardo Pérez Guzmán. Present. Very good. Okay. So I'm going to send you, thank you very much. I told you that I was going to interrupt a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to give you more time so you can continue practicing. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. You finished reading, right? Yes. Yes. Did you complete the policy or procedure, the sentences, one to five? No. 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 You are investigating the no. vocabulary. No. No. Okay, go, everybody. <laughs> All right, continue. Continue your work, okay? I'm not going to interrupt. Continue. Go ahead. Continue your work.
of police as a globe where national where? is the most Boundary. Boundaries, oceans, mountains, green is this. Is police. Police. Okay. Five. Pol police. Yes. When, when people wear this, well, they are not misunderstanding. Eso no sé qué palabras. Yo lo subrayé. Es bien largo. Aquí está. Está donde fue. When people write this well, there are not... No sé qué significa. Esta es una de las que vamos a investigar. A well writing procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstanding. This procedure. It's a procedure. Yes. Sorry, sorry, Manager. Reina. Sorry, sorry, Reina. Which was your group? Eh, no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba. Grecia. Ah, Grecia. Ah, okay, okay. Continue, everybody. I will, I will move you. Don't worry. Continue. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. It's permit manager to control even in advance. Ah, but sorry, Grecia, I think had a problem because I don't see her. Mm, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna move you with Herman, okay? Okay. okay. E, the second is a procedure. Can you read number, number three? Herman and Francisco. Can you right. adopt Reina, please? <laughs> okay. Yes, the thing is that is, uh, Grecia had a problem, maybe, of, because I don't see Grecia anymore. So, uh, he, Reina will be right. with you, okay? Okay. Thank you. Um, let's say, uh, this accomplish, this accomplish, this accomplish, Ah, uh, complete. No sé qué es. Esto es. Consumar. Yeah, accomplished, it will be consumado or alcanzado, logrado. That will be another word. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that will be another word. By providing. The real women and choose of a directive that can be used to guide their decision making process as they, they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of police as a law or national. Esta es otra. Boom. Esta es otra. Boom. Esta. Ah. Fronteras. Yeah, from bone dance. Mm -hmm. you know, also, if it boundaries oh. can be limites. Mm -hmm. Limites. Limites. No frontera. Have you seen have you seen people with t shirts and the t shirts say no boundaries? Hay yeah. gente con, con, con un mensaje en las camisas, no boundaries, that would be yes. limits. Uh -huh. okay. No limits. Limits, no limits. No limits. Okay. What is your procedure? Sus decisiones hacen que el proceso de ellos sea en el esfuerzo, el esfuerzo para superar los problemas. Yeah, for me, it's a policy. The number four. Pero ahí no lo identificar, quiero compare it to love. A person from getting lost or wandering. 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 A ver. wandering. Errante, me aparece. Errante. 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 
Es Valme Ram. <risa> eh, management, el que me dijo la teacher, management es, me parece gestión. Ajá, that's, uh -huh. the, that's the meaning, management. Yeah. Oh, management, gestión. Vale. Okay. I will I writing procedure will also help eliminate con S. It's a misunderstanding. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yes. Malentendido. No malentendidos. Malentendidos. He said by the land fading job responsibilities. And este lo vimos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, pero siendo con límites para los empleados. Finish, Germán. No. Eh, no, teacher. Vamos a, a ahorita a buscar las, las, las palabras. Ok. Establisher es como establecimiento. Sí. Sí. Eh. Tower, no sé qué. Asia. Ah. Eh, Asia. ¿Eh? Es que la que dice Choi. ¿En el mismo de arriba? Sí. Elección, eh. Okay, maybe you didn't finish. Maybe you didn't finish um, writing the vocabulary, but don't worry because uh, we have to we have to continue. We have other things to do. So I'm gonna let me see. I'm gonna ask you for the answers of this. Okay. So, number one. It's a connection between a company's vision. Is it a policy or is it a... Um, is it a procedure? Policy. 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 All right, very good. Give me a second. I lost the answers here because I had them here. So this is the last. Second. Yes. It's a... Um, yes. It is a policy. Number one is a policy. So I'm going to type it here. Policy. What about number two? I'm procedure. 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 Yes, number two is a procedure. All right, that's procedure. the pronunciation. Procedure. 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 Mm -hmm. What about number three? Procedure. 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 Very good. Yeah, number three is a procedure. Okay. What about... Sorry, but I'm having the problems with my cell phone. Okay. What about number four? What's the answer for number four? Policy. 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 Yes, 
Procedure. 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 Very good. So, can, can someone tell me, one person, in mm. English, of course, can you tell me the difference between policy and procedure? One volunteer or victim? The policy is a, um, a one norm uh, but the uh, enterprise use for uh, uh, for the uh, como cuando quieren este, ver estrategias. When they want to see strategies. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the other? Y procedure es cuando es when eh, se lleva a cabo esa estrategia. Oh, when the strategy is eh, led to the, to the goal. It's like a map. Like a map. Okay, very good. Well, I'm going to show you a video. All right. Remember that, that we maybe are not experts on this topic, right? But we're going to see a video. Okay, it is recording. Um, we're going to watch a video and this man is going to explain a little bit about policy versus procedure. Okay? Let me see. And the purpose of this video is to talk about the terms policy and procedure and contrast them. Now, these terms may be used very specifically by your institution to mean certain things. I'm going to talk about what they mean. John Borwick with higher education. Hello, my name is John Borwick with Higher Education IT Management. And the purpose of this video is to talk about the terms policy and procedure and contrast them. Now, these terms may be used very specifically by your institution to mean certain things. I'm going to talk about what they mean generally. So, a policy is a set of assertions about what is or is not allowed. You could think of the law of your government as an example of a policy. This is not allowed. Or you could think of an IT password policy uh, where the policy would say you are not allowed to share your password, you are not allowed to type it in when someone's looking over your shoulder, uh, so just what's okay and not okay. And if you are working on a policy, um, I refer to a document that is the IETF's RFC 2119, which is a very long name for a document that defines terms that can be helpful in policies. Must, should, may, and must not, should not, and may not. So those terms can be helpful to say how important the different parts of your policy are. So in contrast, a procedure is how you go about doing something. So a recipe would be an example of a procedure. Step one, uh, put oil in the pan. Step two, add garlic. Step three, add onion. So an IT procedure might be a security incident response procedure. So if there has been an incident, uh, step one is turn off the network. Step two is notify maybe the chief security officer. Step three is to take the physical asset and put it in a safe or whatever those set of steps are for you. So in the heat of the moment, it's good to know one, two, three, what are we going to do? Procedures tell you how to go about doing something. And there are different levels of procedure from a high level, let's say business process, uh, like admitting students, to a procedure like how to make a decision about one student, to sub procedures all the way down to work instructions, where a work instruction is this is what you type into the computer, this is exactly how you do this thing. So people can sometimes get tripped up trying to put too much detail into a higher level process or procedure. And it's totally fine to have multiple layers if you need them. So procedures also um, can benefit from having defined triggers, inputs, and outputs. 
So a trigger is when the procedure is to happen or how you know to start the procedure. And the inputs and outputs are what this procedure needs and then what it provides. So a procedure and a policy are similar in that they are both official ways that your organization or sub-organization wants to operate. But they're different in that the policy says what is allowed or not allowed doesn't really matter how it happens. This is allowed or not allowed. And a procedure says here are the steps that you take to do something. Uh, now, is this procedure and policy clear, everybody? Yes, more clear. Yes. Okay, <laughs> the, in the last part, pay attention to the last part. Let me see. Sub-organization wants to operate, but they're different in that the policy says what is allowed or not allowed doesn't really matter how it happens. This is allowed or not allowed. And a procedure says, here are the steps that you take similar in that. So a procedure and a policy are similar in that they are both official ways that your organization or sub organization wants to operate. But they're okay, policy and procedures help the company or any organization to coordinate and organize how they are going to operate, all right? They're different in that the policy says what is allowed or not allowed. Okay, a policy says what is permitted and what is not permitted. Doesn't really matter how it happens. This is allowed or not allowed. And a procedure says here are the steps that you take to do something. Okay, so the procedure are the steps, okay? That's the, the, the difference that is, that is he talking about, that he is, sorry, talking about. Now it's clear? Yes. Yes, yes remember, we are not business people, right? But we can, we can learn from this. So policy and, and procedure. Okay, very good. Now, everybody, uh, let me see. Okay, we're gonna have, let me see, let me see, let me see. We're going to have like a little exam right now. Do you want an exam right now? Uh, no. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh my God. All right. Remember everybody that for tomorrow, you need to have all your homework assignments from week number four finished and the final exam finished, okay? Some of you have already finished. Yes, some of you already finished all the homework, the final exam. Eh, les voy a comentar algo así rapidito. I'm gonna tell you something about the diplomas, okay? Diplomas will be sent to human resources office from your companies. Okay, the diploma is not anymore on the on the platform. No, it, the diplomas will be sent physically to your companies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in your company they will call you from Recursos Humanos. Okay, Patricia Alvarenga, your diploma is here. Okay, very good. Yeah, and Patricia will go and pick her diploma up. Okay, it is uh, something and. Uh, new about about this. Así que si no les aparece, if the diploma is not uh, on the platform, it is for that reason. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Now, um, in the pla on the platform, we have the final exam. The final exam is similar to what we're going to do right now. So please take a picture porque me van, me, you're going to work with, with this that I'm going to send you right now in pairs. All right, very good. In pairs. Uh, later, I'm going to show you on the platform the final exam to explain it to you. Remember, Monday we have the last session for the for, uh, 
The last session will be very interesting. Monday will be very interesting. Lunes va a ser solo practice. Practice, 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 and more practice. We will have a, a, a conversation in pairs and a lot, of, a lot of things. It will be nice, Monday. So, um, y también vamos a llenar la encuesta el lunes. Así que no tiene que faltar, lunes, all right? Because we are going to complete the, 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 the survey. Okay, so please take a picture. Take a picture from, from this. You finished. Sorry, you have the picture. No, okay. Yes. Okay, take the picture. All right, this is from the first part. Now the next here. Okay. So here we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up. Here we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up. Um, we're gonna wrap up the, the home, the homework, the unit, we're gonna wrap up the unit with this. So this will be like a little exam, okay? Very good. This will be like a little exam. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work in pairs and we're gonna complete this. Okay, so if you have any questions, we, um, we will get together later and talk about that. So let me see, I'm gonna send you to the small groups to work. Oh, I have exactly for working in pairs. So Carmen Irene Navidad will work with Ivit. Abel Edenilson will work with Patty. Erika, Erika Elizabeth will work with um, Eric, Linda will work with Abby. Erika will work with Saida. Francisco will work with um, let me see. Ay, sorry. Ah, uh, estoy haciendo algunos movimientos, por eso es que. Let me see. Okay. Eh, Claudia will work with Francisco Edgardo. Edgar Manuel will work with. Edgar Manuel will work with Victor. Okay. Juliana will work with Reina. And that's it. Okay. Yeah. Hice algunos movimientos. I did some, some movements. That's why I was like, okay, bye bye, everybody. Go, go, go. This is an exam. Okay. Go ahead. Ivit. Tenía problemas con la compu. Ahorita la mando al room one, ¿ok? With, with Thank Carmen. You. The number two, could you open the door for my for me, please? I am carrying all this book. Mm. Puedes abrir la puerta por mí, por favor. Sí, 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 entiendo, pero no, no recuerdo si la, la estructura de Curai aplica para todas la, la, las preguntas. El could you es cuando no hay preguntas, algo así lo entiendo, pero... Eh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Remember that could I, could I is for you, when you are asking for permission. Could I, que usted lo va a hacer, could I. And could you is when you are asking another person to do it. Eh, no importa si es pregunta. No, 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 it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it okay. doesn't, it doesn't matter. Acuérdate que puedes decir I could, right? Les, les los puedes usar eh, de manera afirmativa. I could y uh, you could. 
Pero en este caso, todas son preguntas. Entonces, vamos a decir, could I or could you? Ok. Ok, okay the number, that's an instruction, all right? But all of them are questions, ok? The number, the number two uh, for me is, could you open yes. the door for me, please? Excellent, uh -huh. yes. because, because the complement of the sentence says, I am carrying all the books. Yes, okay. Uh, the number three, three, I didn't understand what you say to me. Could you repeat, please? Could you? Ibit, en, en Carmen, do you have a question? No, teacher. Uh -huh. I, uh, oh. Todo, todo está claro. It's clear. Ah, it's clear. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Yeah, one, one of you can, gracias. One of you can, can share. Um, one of you can share the... The, the screen, if you want. Oh. Mm? So it's, it's easy for you to, to see the, the information. Ah, oh, okay. Como tenemos el manual. Uh -huh. Ah, you have the manual, girls. Good, yes. excellent. Yes. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Continue, continue. Um, Yes. Porque dice the, sec the secretary isn't here. Could you leave a message for her, please? Mm -hmm. Podría mandar. Could you? Could you? Yeah. Could, okay. Could you? Could you? The next. Please, next. tomorrow. Tomorrow. As me spending preparing. Could I? Could I? Yes. Yes. I. I tomorrow. The secretary is her. Leave a message for her, please. And the secretary is in there. Uh, leave a message for her, please. Could you? Could you could leave you. a message for her, please? Okay. Could you? Yes. Okay. Okay, it's about to finish. Okay. Word over do word over time is there to do one. Do two word over time. If there is too much, you debería llegar a tiempo, a tiempo, no. pero okay. lo demás, ajá, sí. Tiempo extraordinario. O sea que, como tú debes o tú no deberías trabajar. Ajá. Y sin gir, como la secretaria no está. No eh, está aquí, dice. Debería. Leave a message for her, please. Como que le podría mandar un mensaje. No, dice, podrías. Ajá, por ella. Como. Espérame. Ajá. Podría mandar un mensaje, pues sí. Cool, yo. Cool, yo. Mm -hmm. 
fill the space in eight centers using air shoe or shoe them. Or shoe them. Mm -hmm. You should call your boss if you are coming late to work. Should. Should you take someone else call? Eh, como you, to, mm -hmm. you, you take someone, you should take someone else call. Mm. Hey, qué idea suya, en verdad. Mm. No. Porque como dice take es hablar, no. No take es te a es ti e qui I mean, should late time. to work. Yes, should. Very good. Mara to have a to estas viniendo tarde al trabajo. Yes. Uh -huh. Porque si es shouldn't, diría no deberías. Uh -huh. Second, you shouldn't. In the second, you shouldn't spend too much time on the on the internet. Sure. Sure. Uh, no, no la tengo para compartir. Pero la puedo mandar al grupo si quiere. No, es que ahorita se me ha arruinado el no, la otra. Esa. Esa acaba. Ahorita la tomo. Thank you, teacher. When get late to work, puede ser. When get lay to work, call my boss. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think when get lay. Okay. If I need a day off, request yeah. is with if. The number two for me is if. 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 I. Uh. The number two? Uh, maybe when, because no tiene el, 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 el creo que no tiene el, el I normalmente cuando va ahí se, hay un I antes y yo if I eh, in this case is a verb eh, when need a day off cuando necesito un día libre eh, recu eh, como que recurro a recursos humanos pero no sé si es if porque podría ser también si yo if need a day off. If I. If I. Yeah, the if. thing is that in here, in here you don't have uh, the subjects. Mm -hmm. You don't have the subjects. So you need to include need the subjects. Off. Yeah. If I need a day off. Comma. I. Request it with HR. Okay. If I. And, and the number three, there is too much work to do, work extra hours. When there's yes. too much work to do, work extra hours. For me, it's when. The number three. When? When. Okay. Uh, 
we finish. Teacher, we finish or? You finish uh, everything. The part three. So you, you we finish don't have one, two and three. Yes, we don't have number four. No? Let me see. My in my in my book. Sorry, Francisco, I will. Okay, let me see. No, we don't have another practice. Teacher. Uh, con eso del is. Yeah. I when. Yo tengo problemas para identificar como lo vi en la número dos porque eh, eh, son bien parecidas. Ah, when you when you use if and when. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, the, no problem. I mean. Um, in in this in this kind of exercises maybe can be can be um how can i tell you can be a a, a problem right um but in here they are not asking you for something very specific i mean you can use if or you can use when it depends on your on on your on what you have okay okay yeah so for example you can say in number one if i get like if I get late to work, I call my boss. Or when I get late to work, I call my boss. So if you say, if I get late to work, I call my boss is an unusual situation. But if you say, when I get late, I call my boss, that means see, that is something that usually happens to you. We will go to the room and we'll work on that. All right, thank you very much, everybody. Everybody is in the house. Everybody is in the house. So let me see, we're gonna work with uh, the, the, um, the book, right? And we're gonna complete the exercises. So we're gonna begin with number one. We're gonna begin with number one and, the, and part number one, it is that we have to work with, could I, or could you? Could I or could you? All right, very good. So, in the first one, what are we gonna type? Could I mm -hmm. or could you? Could, could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Said there, could I? Okay, mm -hmm. so you're gonna, we're gonna say, could I? That is the answer. Mm -hmm. Could I? Could I close your... No, let me see. No. Could you? Could you? Well, I'm going to tell you, according according to the, to the, to the textbook is could I? Uh, mm -hmm. yes. Let me see. Look. Could I? Could I see. open the door for me, please? Can but... you see? Okay. Yes. Yes, but yes, I see. But it's not very correct. I don't think so. The, the name is. Let me uh, see. Could I close your window? Es si yeah. puedo cerrar tu ventana. Uh, eh, well, okay, we're gonna say no. that we can use both. No. Could I, or could you? Because it could. says your yes. window. Your window. Okay. Ah yes yes. The number one is could I. Ah, yeah, could yeah, yeah. Number one is could I. Number two is could you. Could you. Yes. Could you. Number one okay. is could I. Number two is could you. Okay. Number three. Could you. Could you. Could you. Could you. Number three is could you. Very good. Could you. Very good. <laughs> See, could you? All right, number four. Excuse me, your music is on very loud. Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Your music. What about number five? Mary, I don't get my money till next week. Could I? 
Okay. Could it you. is. Could you. Could you. Could All right. You. Yeah. Could you. Could you lend me. Okay. Number six. Please. Could I. Could you. Could I borrow. Could, could, could you. Could I. Could I. Okay, could I borrow your car? Number seven, the secretary isn't here. Could you leave you? for here, please? You? The secretary is not here. Could you or could I? Could you? Could you? Could, you? could, could you? I? That is the answer, because usted quiere dejar el mensaje, okay? Could I leave a message for her, okay? Very good, so you say, could I? So number one is, could I? Remember, could, could, no. So number one, could I? Number two, could you? Number three, could you? Number four, could you? Number five, could you? Number six, could I? And number seven, could I? All right, very good. Okay. Now, in this part, how many you had incorrect? How many from seven you had incorrect? I two incorrect. Two. Okay. What about what about the others? A two one. Incorrect. One, Herman. Number three. Three. Dos. Herman, how many you have incorrect? Um, I don't know, teacher. Cuántas tuvo malas? How many you had incorrect? Ah, uh, uh, eh, two. Two. Okay, very good. All right. Now we're going to erase, erase, I'm sorry, and we're going to go to the next one. I think the next one is easier. This one is, este es más fácil. This one is easier. Should or shouldn't. Listen to the pronunciation. Should or shouldn't. Okay, number one. Should or shouldn't, everybody? Should. Should. Okay, so should. you should... Call your boss. Number two? Shouldn't. 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 Okay, very good. Shouldn't. Nice. So you shouldn't. Number three? Should. Should. Shouldn't. Good. All right. Should. Number four? Shouldn't. 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 shouldn't may use shouldn't. some narcotics. All right, shouldn't. Very good, shouldn't. shouldn't. Shouldn't, okay. What about number five? Should. 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 You should or shouldn't? Let me see, number five is shouldn't. Shouldn't. Yeah, because it says you shouldn't wear casual clothes when there is a supervision in your company. Imagine the supervisor in your company is possible, Linda? Yes. Okay, very good. In other companies, like for example, in banks, that they have to wear a uniform, it is not possible, I think. Okay, but it depends on your situation. Number six, should or shouldn't? Should. 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 Okay, number six, should. Number seven, should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Very good, shouldn't. You shouldn't. Okay, you shouldn't take someone else's calls. All right, so the answers are one, should. Two, shouldn't. Three, shouldn't. Uh, four, shouldn't. Six, should. Seven, shouldn't. All right, very good. 
So we're gonna erase this and we will go to the last one. Aquí todavía algunos tienen un poquito de problems, all right? So we're gonna check the exercise from yesterday in a moment. Okay, so number one. Aquí a esto les faltan los sujetos. So you have to include the subject. So number one, get late to work, call my boss. What would be the possible answer for that one? Number one. When I get late, uh -huh. I call my boss. Teacher, eh, Francisco had a question. Francisco told me, teacher, Y aquí cómo voy a saber si voy a usar if y si voy a usar when. Puede usar los dos, no problem. Okay? Yes. Here you can use both. No, pero no puedes usar. Yeah. So if you say, for example, when I get late. Ah, ella es costumbre. All right? When I get late. But if you say if I get late, mm, it can be one situation, una situación de mil, all right? So if, if you say, if I, if I get late, I call my boss. Okay? So in this exercise, you can use the two ways, all right? So what would be number two? Need a day off. Day off es día libre. Need a day off requested with HR. So what is the answer? A, a volunteer, maybe someone wants to help me. I need a day off. Okay, you say, if I need a day off, comma, you, I requested, sorry, I requested with HR. I requested with HR, okay? Or you can say, when I need a day off. And what about number three? What would be the answer for number three? When. Okay, can you, can you tell me? When, I'm oh, sorry. When there's too much work. When there when there's too much work to do, comma, I work extra hours. Cuando hay mucho, when there's too much work to do, I work extra hours. Or you can say, if there's too much work to do, I work extra hours. Okay? Very good. But eh, eso está como algo confusing. Pero el de ayer, the one from yesterday, I think is, is better. Está mejor. Let me see. This one. Did you finish this exercise? Yes. Only one person said yes. <laughs> the others? Yes. <laughs> no, teacher. Yes, no, no. I, I sent... No, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, to I the send... platform. Excellent. Very yes. good. No la he revisado todavía porque me gusta hacerlo después de la clase para, para ver yeah. si todos han tenido el chance de, de contestarlo. Ok. Now, eh, ok. Amara, ayer. Sure? Yo no pude mandarlo, no me lo recibía este, el sistema y hasta ahorita no he podido mandarlas porque no, no sé qué le pasó. Bueno, andaba trabajando y desde allá las estaba queriendo mandar de donde andaba y no sé si era por eso. Pero ah, no maybe, maybe the connection, sí. right? Ajá, creo que era por eso, así que hasta no le he podido hacer y ya luego me... Okay, so maybe you can do it after the, the, the class, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay. now, um, here we have, uh, nos quedamos en la, en la ocho, creo yo, ¿verdad? Okay, if you say, he always smiles, what would be a compliment for sentence number eight? A volunteer? He always smiles. Él siempre sonríe. ¿Cómo He's... diría? Él siempre sonríe cuando me mira. <laughs> when okay. I look at me. Ok. He when I look smiles at me. When 
I look, look him, he look me. Okay, look so you me. say, he always smile when he looks at me. All right? At me. Yes. Cuando usted quiere decir, cuando él me mira, you say, when he looks at me. Or you can say, when I look at him. Is clear? He always smiles when he looks at me. Ah, yes. All right, very good. Okay, so you can say that. He always smiles when he looks at me. Okay. What about number number nine? If I miss the bus. I take a taxi. Excellent. A taxi. Very good. Excellent. I take a taxi. Another option? I walk. Uh, to walk. Yes. Okay, very good. Another option? Excellent, very good. Okay, what about number 10? <laughs> what about number 10? When you make lots of noise, cuando hace mucho ruido, when you make lots of noise, mm -hmm. say my ears. Sorry? I don't know, say. Uh, tapo mis oídos. Oh, when you make lots of noise, I cover, cover my, my ears. ears. Mm -hmm. oh. I cover. I cover my ears. Okay, very good. Uh, give me, give me a second. Um, Carmen Irene Navidad Campos. Present. Uh, say it again, please. Present. La voy a buscar para que aparezca aquí en la grabación. All right, let me see. Where are you? Where are you, Carmen Irene? Carmen Irene, Carmen Irene. Carmen Irene is here and she said present. La primera vez que pasé lista, you were, you were not here yet, okay? And yes. Claudia Lorena, yes, she was here. Okay, so only Carmen Irene added. Okay, very good. What about number 11? Tea tastes sweet. Estas son las de la tarea. All right, so tea yeah. tastes sweet. When what will I be a complementation? When? When? When add most, most sugar. Okay. No. Uh, okay, Erika. It's, okay. it's good, it is good, but remember that we need complete sentences. So oh. to say, when I add a lot of sugar, okay? Yes, necesitamos mencionar siempre el sujeto, all right? Mm. We need to mention always the subject. So you say, tea tastes sweet when I add a lot of sugar. Is it clear? Yes. So number 12, you should eat less. Debería de comer menos. You should eat less. Mm -hmm. When we go a trip. Ah. When we go on a trip. <laughs> go on a trip, yes, porque sale caro, right? <laughs> the person eats 10 pupusas and you are going to los planes de rendero and pupusas oh, at no, los planes no. de rendero are expensive. Yes. <laughs> One dollar, okay. <laughs> Number 13. I always take my umbrella when the rain. Okay. When Uy. I always take my umbrella when, y aquí vamos a hacer lo mismo que dijimos, necesitamos oraciones completas. We need complete sentences. So you say, when it rains. Yes. When it rains, all right? I always take my umbrella when it rains. What about number 14? When I am sad... I watch a comedy movie. Okay, I watch a comedy movie. 
Okay. And the last one. When he claims the house, when he cleans the house, Yo me pongo feliz, o yo estoy feliz. How do you say that in English? I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Okay, I am very happy. Imagine you have a husband, and if your husband cleans the house, that would be nice. So these are some possi possible answers. Remember that the homework was from number 11 to number 15, you had to write. Ahora le voy a poner la última pregunta. I'm going to type the last question. Okay. Now, uh, le voy a robar unos minutitos. Bueno, no sé si, si los tienen. Do you have? Yes. Un minutos yes. extra, como ayer, porque le voy a explicar algo. Yes. Eh, ¿Quiénes ya terminaron el examen? Who finished the exam right now? Already. Yo. ¿Quiénes ya terminaron todo lo de la plataforma? Let me see. No. Yo. Levante Yo. la mano, please. Eh, Ibit, who else? Francisco, Edgar, José Nelson, Abel. Oh my God, almost everybody. All right, that's very good. I'm very happy for you guys that you you already, oh, Raquel Laviail, sorry, I didn't see your hand, but yes, she already finished also. I'm very, very happy that you did that, that you finished. Okay. Um, I was given permission. I requested permission to show you, right? The final exam, not the answers, okay? <laughs> the exam. Okay, remember that you need to finish your exam. Your exam is here. This is the final exam. Okay, the final exam has four parts. Okay, the final exam has four parts. And it has topics about everything that we have studied. All right. One, um, well, here it is a, a multiple option, all right? If you remember some vocabulary here. And also here. Here is present perfect, all right? Remember that, okay. Now, uh, in the next part also we have uh, to choose the correct meaning for the idiom, all right? Part number three. I mean, it's, it is something that you, you know already. It is something that you know. It is not something um, that is not familiar for you. All right. So I know that you will get you will get a a, a ten. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me see what else I was gonna tell you. Okay. Um, I was I was going to I was going to to play. All right. Uh, a listening for you. Remember that when we are working in English, it is very important. It is very important to to watch videos in English and to have some listenings in English. All right, some things that we can practice. That is something very, very, very good. You have your platform, Patty. You have a question. Yes. Yes. Ask me, I, please. I, uh, um, it's a uh, first first part in a uh, final exam. Yes. In is a four question. No. no. Oh, you 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 have a problem with that? Yes. Okay, so only... maybe you can you can you can tell me and and if there is a problem, I I report it. All right. Okay. Yes, if there same, is a problem, I, I I report it. Yes. Okay. Same. Okay. Uh, if you are having maybe uh, troubles with with that. Okay. Now, everybody, I, uh, on Monday, we're going to have another class. Okay? Remember, yes. we're going to practice. Teacher, yes? I have... Teacher, sorry. Yes, I have a, a question. Yes, ask me. Thank you. If, what is the minimum average to pass? Eight, I think. Eight. 80, 80%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that is the, the, the minimum average. Okay. Good. Yes, Gracia? Uh, tomorrow is the... Tomorrow the final is the day. Uh-huh. For test? For, yeah, for the exam and, and, and the homework. Yes. For everything. For everything. But it is not something difficult. I mean, it doesn't take like 10 minutes or... or or a long time. No, it takes it takes a little time. Okay, so if you have been doing your homework daily, it's not gonna be a problem. All right, so check the homework, check the 
uh, please check if you have all your homework complete. Check if you have, uh, let me see, the, the, the answers in the forum. Because for INSAFORP, it's very important that you participate in the forum. That's why I insist. Okay, type your answers. Work on the, yeah. on the, on the forum, the questions. Because INSAFORP pays attention to that because they want to see your interaction and your interest, right? I know that you are very uh, good students. This group is very wonderful, okay? All right, I wanna show you something. Uh, let me see. If in case you need, well, remember that for practicing the listening, we have uh, these, these videos, right? These videos. But today I have a little exercise for you for listening. Okay, this is something short. It is not something difficult. Okay, here on this website, we're gonna have a little practice. All right. I'm gonna play a listening for everybody. This is something uh, that, that um, is gonna help you. Let me see. We're gonna practice this listening. Okay, well, you can practice listening in different ways, everybody, with music, with videos, with songs. <coughs> so here, I'm <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I have a little, <coughs> little. <coughs> I'm sorry. So here we have a listening. All right. I don't know if I shared it. Okay, tell me if you can listen, please. Can you listen? No. Oh, okay. No. Give me a second. I'm going to do something. Yes, I'm going to share again. Now, yeah. If you can listen. This being the second day of school. Yes. Okay. Now here, this is a very nice practice. We're going to, I'm going to play a listening for you. Okay. And here we have some questions that we can select. I mean, we have five questions to check if we understood the listening. We have five questions to check if you understood the listening. All right. And uh, we're gonna listen to the listening. The, the questions are like, are these. Where does this conversation most likely take place? At a park, at a birthday party, or at a school? The second question says, what is the girl's name? Karen, Nancy, or Kathy? Question number three, where was the girl born? In the United States, in France, or in England? Number four, what does the girl's father do for a living? He is a computer programmer, he is a professor, or he is a travel agent? And the last question is, where does the girl's mother work? at a school, at a home, or at an office, okay? So I'm gonna play the listening. It is short, it is only one minute, okay? And go. Uh, hi, what was your name again? I can't keep straight out the students' names, this being the second day of school. It's okay, I have a hard time remembering names myself. Now, uh, Karen, right? No, <laughs> it's Nancy. My mom's name is Karen. Nancy, okay. I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, a world traveler. But then we moved here when I was nine. So, what does your father do now? Well, he's a college professor and he's in Scotland at the moment. How interesting. What does he teach? Oh, I haven't a clue. Nah, I'm just joking. He <laughs> teaches chemistry. Oh, chemistry. And uh, what about your mother? She works full time at home. Oh, and what, does she have her own business or something? No, nah, she takes care of me. Well, being a homemaker can be a real hard but rewarding job. I think so too. Okay, was it easy or difficult, everybody? Mm. <laughs> Everybody's face is like, what? Speak very okay, fast. I will, I will repeat one more time. One more time? 
Peace. Yes, okay. Uh, hi, what was your name again? I can't keep straight all the students' names, this being the second day of school. It's okay, I have a hard time remembering names myself. Now, uh, Karen, right? No, it's Nancy. Her mom's name is Karen. Nancy, okay. I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, a world traveler. But then we moved here when I was nine. So, what does your father do now? Well, he's a college professor and he's in Scotland at the moment. How interesting. What does he teach? Oh, I haven't a clue. Nah, just joking. He <laughs> teaches chemistry. Oh, chemistry. And uh, what about your mother? She works full time at home. Oh, and what, does she have her own business or something? Nah, she takes care of me. Well, being a homemaker can be a real hard but rewarding job. I think so too. Okay, very good. Now, let's see. Where does this conversation most likely take place? At a school. At a school. At a school? Yay! Very good, everybody. If you pay attention, automatically you know if the answer is correct or incorrect. The next one. What is the girl's name? Nancy. 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 Very good. The next one. Where was the girl born? France. 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 England or France? Okay. She was huh. born in England. Huh. England. She grew up in France. Yes. Uh, what does the girl father do for a living? Professor. He's a professor. Professor? Yes. Very good. All right. Where does the girl's mother work? At a school, at home, or in an office? At home. Mm -hmm. At home. At home? Yes. Yes. Very good. Wow, my dears. ¿Cómo sintieron? ¿Cómo, cómo sintieron? ¿Fácil? ¿Difícil? <laughs> so, so, so. Kind of. <laughs> All right. Very good. Listening <laughs> is something very, 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 very good. All right? This is a very good, good place, so you can work. Uh, or you can practice uh, aparte, como usted guste, okay? Well, everybody, thank you very much. Uh, let me see. Nos vemos el lunes. Okay. Todos, please, if it is possible. Uh, well, if it is possible, no. You have to be there for, uh, for Monday porque vamos a llenar la encuesta, okay? La vamos a llenar y la vamos a mandar en ese momento. All right? Sí. La captura de pantalla con el nombre. Yo, antes de que lo hagamos, se lo voy a enseñar para que no haya no vaya a haber ningún eh, error, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you very much, okay. everybody. Have a nice weekend. Thank you for Have you. a nice night. Thank God you. bless you. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.